Meanwhile, an out-of-this-world mission is underway in space today. NASA astronauts Jeff Williams and Kate Rubens are stretching out their legs and they're going on a six-hour spacewalk. They're installing a new docking adapter outside the International Space Station. And CBS News senior space consultant Bill Harwood uh, is joining me now. He's uh, on Skype. Bill, you've been uh, following the spacewalk ever since they emerged from that little uh, door there. How are things going so far? Well, they're a little less than two hours into this spacewalk, but everything's going very well indeed. The new docking adapter has been pulled into the port where they want to attach it. Uh, Kate Rubens and Jeff Williams are attaching cables to put power to the adapter so hooks can engage and lock it in place. Uh, that's all going along as expected. Uh, no major problems yet at all. Okay, so if this works, we could be ushering in sort of a new era here. Can you explain why this mission is so important? Yeah, it really is a milestone. You know, ever since uh, July 2011, when the last space shuttle departed, NASA has had no way to get astronauts to and from the station except aboard Russian Soyuz spacecraft. NASA currently pays about $88 million a seat to launch astronauts on the Soyuz. But Boeing and SpaceX are both building commercial crew vehicles here in this country. Test flights are scheduled next year. And if all goes well, they will dock at this very docking adapter the astronauts are installing today. So getting this adapter in place really clears the way for NASA to end this sole reliance on Russia for transportation to and from the space station. Mm, so hopefully trips to Kazakhstan will be a thing of the past. Um, <laughs> this, uh, you know, we're looking at the spacewalk and, you know, everyone's, they're moving very slowly. It looks very sort of peaceful. Their voices are very calm. But this is pretty dangerous work. Well, it is. You know, they're working in a vacuum. They're moving at five miles per second. So obviously space debris poses a, a very serious threat. Of course, they have studies that show that they think it's safe to go do this, and they train extensively. I mean, enormous amount of training goes into this. And they think it's a, a justifiable risk uh, to go out and do these sorts of tasks. Of course, to get something like this docking adapter hooked up, the only way to do it is to send somebody outside to actually make the connections and, and to get that all cinched up. But again, the astronauts, uh, they don't seem to have any problem going out, and they all say they, they truly enjoy it. You know, whenever we see these astronauts, they're always pretty physically fit, and you think, geez, how, you know, why do you have to be that fit when you're in zero gravity? But there's a lot of, there are a lot of other things to consider when you're conducting a spacewalk like this. This can be grueling work. Well, it can be. You're six and a half hours in there. They do have a little drink tube. They can get sips of water. There is no food, of course. But the suit is pressurized at five PSI, pounds per square inch, and so every movement you make with your fingers, for example, there's resistance to it. And when you consider all the tools they're manipulating to get cables installed, that sort of thing, uh, it's a very tiring procedure at the end of six and a half hours. And by all accounts, when they get back inside the airlock, they really do look forward to getting the suits off and relaxing. <laughs> I bet. Bill Harwood, thank you very much.